Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna tell you exactly how Hyundai helped me fix old grandma here, so stay tuned. <laughs> So it's getting to be that time of year again, sorry about the wind noise, that the snow is almost gone. We've had some rain, we've had some warm weather, and it's time to get these studded snow tires off of grandma. So let's go inside and I'll show you what we're doing. So if you guys are new to the channel and uh, you're all about cars and you clicked on this because you saw a big Panther platform in the uh, thumbnail, this might be the channel for you. So please go ahead and consider con uh, subscribing and hitting that thumbs up. That way YouTube tells everybody that uh, it's a pretty good channel and you won't be disappointed. So what we've got is uh, some 18 inch Mustang rims. Now these are off of an 11 Mustang and they fit right on the Panther platforms, at least my 04, with absolutely no modifications, no wheel spacers, nothing. So what we're doing is we're scuffing them up and we're getting ready to add a coat of paint to them, but we're not priming them because we want this silver to be the base. And the old tires that we had on it, well, we've either burned them off or they've worn out because they were just cheap tires. We do have some good years going on it today. These are 245, 45, 18 Eagle RSA. And I've just got the final wheel all prepped up and ready for some cleaning and wipe down. These two are already done. So when I said Hyundai has helped me fix up old grandma, well, that paint code comes off a 2011 Elantra and it's just the right color gray that I was looking for. I was going for a tint with a little bit of, I don't wanna say bluish tint, but maybe gunmetal might be the correct uh, color that I was looking for uh, to help set grandma off. Hello! And uh, dress her up a little more than with just the standard silver Mustang wheels. I got two of these done. I've got them clear coated. Those are ready to roll, but I ran out of paint. So I've got my buddy up at CarQuest, Jason, uh, who's pulling one out for me, and I really appreciate it, Jason, because uh, I wouldn't be able to finish this up today. He's mixed up a can of paint, which they normally don't do on Sunday because, you know, low staff, and they're not, uh, they're sometimes quite busy. So he's done it for me. We've got to head up to CarQuest and pick that up, so why don't you guys come along for the ride? So for those of you who do know, Grandma is my 04 Grand Marquis that is the daily driver for my wife, and I don't get to drive it very often, but when I do, man, Talk about luxurious compared to old Blackjack with those great big 31 inch tires on it. So anyways, um, once we get these done, we'll bring it in, we'll give it a bath and we'll clean it up and make it look nice. Uh, we're, we are in for some weather, but nevertheless, we're gonna clean it up and make it shine with these new wheels and tires on it. That was quick, in and out, we got our paint. Let's get back to the shop and finish up on these wheels. So let's talk for a second about um, getting these wheels prepped for paint. All we're doing is we're taking a red scotch bright and we're scuffing it up so that we get rid of the shine off the clear coat that's there. If you're new to doing any type of uh, painting or anything like that on cars or any sort of metal that has paint already on it, all you're gonna do is take the scotch bright and scuff it up so you get rid of any shine. You don't want anything shiny because you wanna scuff it up so that the new paint will actually stick to it. That's what we've done with the scotch Sprite. We've gone all around the wheel. Now, in order to clean the surface, there's a couple of things you can do. One is you can get a clean rag with some uh, reducer on it and wipe that whole wheel down, or you can do it the cheap way, like I do, with some uh, brake and parts cleaner. And we're just gonna clean it down and get rid of any of the leftover dust that might be there from the uh, sanding process. And one thing about brake cleaner is it evaporates real quick. So once you've got in all the little grooves and everything like that, you can just take a little bit of shop air. And just like that, it's dry and ready for paint. So let's get our first coat of Hyundai gray paint on here. So on this first coat, all we're gonna do is a nice light coat just to give it some tack. And then when we come back with a second, we'll go a little bit heavier.
and I'm already able to see that doesn't look anything like the color it's supposed to be. But we'll let her dry and come back for coat number two. Okay, we've shaken the can up a little bit more. So uh, let's try our second coat and hopefully it's a little bit darker. Oh yeah. All right, that's looking really good. So we'll go do our other one, which is over here on the floor. And by the time we get that one done, maybe this will be set up enough for coat number three. Okay, so we've got both of the two remaining wheels all colored up and the color came out just about perfect to what it was, but we did manage to get a little bit dripping off the can and left a little smudge or a little run on one spot. As much as I wanna get in there and fix it, I'm not going to. Um, you're probably not gonna notice it when the car is traveling down the road at 20 mile an hour, but um, in the same token, I would have to refinish the whole rim to fix it. And well, I'm just not that picky. Unless it's food, I'm really picky with food. Anywho, the clear coat that we're gonna be using is the uh, Duplicolor uh, acrylic lacquer. We're gonna put a couple of coats of this on and let that set up and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and get the new Goodyears mounted and balanced and put on the car. Then we can show you the big reveal of grandma all cleaned up with the new wheels and tires on her. So. So for me, it'll be tomorrow, and for you guys, it'll just be in a few seconds. So these two wheels here are the first two that I did with the first can of paint. Turned out really good. Paint went on smooth, put the clear coat on, everything looks grand. This one is the one that I did with the second can of paint. The paint did not lay out as good. I did develop a little bit of a run right here. And the clear coat has had a bit of a reaction with the paint. Most illogical reaction. Same clear coat here, same clear coat there. Paint that was mixed probably a couple years ago. Paint that was freshly mixed over the weekend. But where the big problem lies is with this last rim. We got some droopage. Hey, yeah, uh, but based on what you've seen with your wife, what, what can we expect in terms of droopage here? We got some sags. Oh, Cupid brings you a saggy old bag of treats. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we've got some shadows and some reaction. Again, there you go. Right in here. With the uh, clear coat to the paint. And I'm really not sure what we're going to do about it. The only right way to go about this is to sand down or remove all the paint from both wheels and do it all over again, which I'm clearly not going to do because I'm too tired and lazy. And like I said before, I don't think you're going to notice it once that wheel starts spinning up. You'll see the color. The color going to look beautiful, but... Uh, I'm on the fence. I know that I, sh I should. I know that I should. Do it! Just do it! But. I don't know. I think what I want to do, again, just because I'm being lazy, is I want to get the tires mounted, balanced, put them on the car, get the car backed outside uh, in the daylight, and just see what it looks like. If it looks like crap, well, we'll have to do it again. I know we've got two that are okay. I'm not worried about those. And that other one isn't that bad. This one right here, this is the worst one. Anyways, I think what we'll do is we'll get Grandma up in the air, get the winter wheels and tires off, and then we can come over here and get these ones mounted up and balanced, put them on, see where we go from there. So we'll do most of that to a time lapse and some music for you guys. Let's get into her.
Okay, so two things now. One. Is we do have the wheels and tires on the car. Two. Two. I can't find my chrome lug nuts. So I had to use those acorn style to hold them on there until I can figure out what's going on. And we don't have any in stock here at the shop. So that's for another day. Three. Three. I was going to do this big reveal, get the car all cleaned up and shined up in, you know, beautiful sunlight. Well, she's a bit gloomy and windy and rainy. But I'm going to do my best and uh, we'll roll this thing out of here and you guys will get to take a look. There it is. There's two really nice wheels and two crappy ones uh, refinished on a Mercury Grand Marquis. Um, we will get this thing cleaned up and I likely will be redoing those two. I put them on the passenger side so I don't have to look at them. Uh, but quite frankly, I don't even drive this car so it really doesn't matter that much. But uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, guys, I'm gonna put my uh, Instagram handle right here, at old car guy. And it's a good place to get behind the scenes pictures, uh, maybe even some videos once in a while of what we're doing for upcoming videos. So like on this car here, you'll know that I posted the pictures long before uh, I actually did this video. So you guys kind of have a sneak peek, but nevertheless, we post all kinds of neat stuff and we're almost at 2000 followers over there on Instagram. So having said that guys, you can get your very own merch for old car guy, not like this old one, the OG. You can get shirts like the uh, new Dale T, the uh, Focus T, and the Channel Logo T. At my Spreadshirt store, first link in the description box below, you guys can go down there, check it out, and help support this channel in other ways than just watching my videos. And here's the first teaser of the 21,000 subscriber um, goal. I almost said something I shouldn't have. Um, there's something big gonna happen once we reach 21,000 subscribers. Um, it is a giveaway, I will tell you that. And I'll be dropping hints along the way with each video as to what it might be. And of course, it's all contingent on COVID and how that uh, rolls out in the near future with uh, you know international travel, all that sort of thing. Anyways, if you guys are interested in helping me get to 21,000 subscribers, you can click that subscribe button down below and bell notifications so you do get notified every time I upload a new video or go live, such as the Car Guy and Six Fan Show every Thursday evening. Myself, Grant Tommy, who is straight Six Fan, again, I'm gonna put his link, I think it's gonna be over here. Uh, it's gonna be in the description box down below as well. We co-host an automotive talk show. It is the gold standard of automotive YouTube talk shows uh, on the internet. We've had great guests, Uncle Tony's Garage, Vice Grip Garage, Junkyard Digs, and many, many more. And we hope to keep building that stage of great YouTube channels, automotive channels here. And uh, hopefully, once we get to 21,000 subscribers, we will um, have even bigger and better things on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. Right now, we are almost to the awards ceremony, which means we'll be drawing for that Forever Sharp steering wheel. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well, tune into a live show and you'll understand. I'm giving away a Forever Sharp steering wheel on the live stream. You've got to be there to win it. Um, that's it. That's all she's got. Thank you so much to everybody who is involved in the hashtag community not competition. Uh, without you guys sharing out channels and uh, shouting out everybody, who has a YouTube channel, um, you know, we all wouldn't grow. So thank you guys, you know who you are. Uh, the biggest proponent of that is Luke over at Coastal Auto Reaction. And if you guys don't know who he is, uh, I suggest you go over there. I'll leave a link in the description box below to his channel. Great guys, him and Uncle Bobo and Just Jake, um, you know, they're doing great things on YouTube. And uh, without their support of my channel, I probably wouldn't be where I am. So thank you, Luke, Bobo, and Just Jake 
uh, you guys have been an inspiration for me to keep on plugging, and uh, and that's what we're going to keep doing. On the road to 21,000 subscribers, guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Love you guys. God bless. We'll do it again in the next video. And remember, we've got a giveaway coming up. We hit 21,000 subscribers. Hope you can be there.